made you think at that time that the internet was a good platform for something like this? Well, you know, definitely Web 2.0. Um, you know, we like to refer to it in the blockchain space these days. Um, you know, it was a time where um, really th anything was still possible. You know, nobody had figured out um, where the internet was headed. You know, nobody had at that time really even predicted Web 3.0 and blockchain technology uh, being the future of, of the space. Um, but, you know, I, I saw, like I, like I mentioned earlier, you know, there was, there was an identifiable gap. Um, there was clearly, a, a, the VFW and American Legion and other organizations like that, they were, um, I don't like to use the term behind the times. It's, it's, it doesn't do them justice. Uh, I would probably say that they were just ill-equipped or not prepared for, uh, you know, technology and where it was at the time. And so, um, you know, I just identified a, a need and, and built from there. Um, literally just started out um, as an idea, playing some games, talking to other veterans. It literally just started with chatting, um, you know, saying, hey, did you serve? Um, or I would see somebody with maybe, uh, you know, a gamer tag or a user handle um, that had an MOS uh, in it that I, you know, identified from the Marines, the Army or the Navy. Uh, the Air Force, and I would I would start asking them, hey, did you serve? You know, when did you serve? And uh, from there, it really, it was uh, it was just a very like I mentioned earlier, grassroots approach. I said, hey, come join me in this community. Let's build something together. And um, it caught on like wildfire. It really did. We have over five thousand members now um, who joined us over the last fifteen years. Um, we'd probably have thousands more if we'd really spent the time or the budget um, on advertising, but we don't. You know, we are 100% uh, grassroots, um, community-grown organization. So um, we have participated with some pretty big names in the space in the past. Um, we did some uh, some joint ventures into charity um, with Sony Online Entertainment back in the day. Um, you know, doing some extra life campaigns and things of that nature. Um, and we've uh, we've done some other charitable events uh, at the local level and, and things of that nature. We've uh, even considered, you know, going down the the nonprofit route um, in the past. Um, but you know, it's really um, it's it's an ever evolving space, and we're trying to remain open to the the possibilities for the future. We're looking, uh, you know, towards blockchain technology to take us to that next level. Um, so that's where we're at now. Yeah.